Hey guys, how's it going? This is Chris Bradley with Boom Facts Beats, and today I am going to make a guitar chill beat from scratch and uh, just kind of see where it goes. Um, let me see. Yeah, this is the one that I heard that I liked, so I'm just going to drag it in. And let's kind of play with our listening. speed it up a little bit. I like to live in the world of 90 ppm, so I've been told. And I'm gonna pitch shift it, change the key. So now we're changing the key and the tempo. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I'm just gonna commit that right now. I'm going to reverse that. I'm not going to go too crazy. I could do a whole video on repurposing samples and go down the rabbit hole. But for the purposes of this video, I think I'm just going to keep it simple. for rock and roll for right now i'm gonna make changes later guitar shop guitar shop <laughs> okay next claps hmm i can already hear a melody i don't know how far i'll get with with this video today let's see what happens Uh, so I'm kind of OCD. I like to color my tracks, not just in mixing, but as I go, it helps me to stay organized. Um, I like preloaded a few instruments just to see, okay, I don't think I'm there yet. What am I going to use? What am I going to use? Uh, I love complete. I just got complete, but actually what I'm going for is an output thing. But anyways, I just love it. I'm obsessed. I also love output. All right, so I'm going to load this uh, vocal effect sampler. Let's get in there. 
always gonna come up that woke of like do 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 sweet I hate that you lose the color after you commit I gotta look out how to keep that because I do color as I go and I can't help it so I have to do it twice oh well um, and then let me just go ahead and do something to get this vocal less annoying and pluck it back a little bit <laughs> always put a like reverb directly on the channel but in in like the last two cases I'm trying to turn them into pads and that's exactly when I do put reverb on directly on <laughs> What else? I feel like this needs it's a chill guitar. I feel like it needs more guitar. But I want to do something like uh, finger finger picky. Complete. Complete. So I love I love complete because it really helps you like get or like you can addition the sounds and just scroll through them quickly. So I bounce between con uh, contact and complete a lot. Look at my hearing. I'm hearing a guitar. A guitar. No acoustic. I'm going to turn that down because it's going to blast you. Definitely not that. <laughs> Country! No. Stop it. Stop it. No. Ah. for a finger something oh does it have a finger part fingertips yes that's exactly what i'm looking for thank you complete i like to sing parts before i play them so that my fingers are not thinking for me because then i'm limited to my crappy piano playing both I know I'm crazy and yeah, I'm starting to feel like it could be a song um ladling uh that those will be verse sections uh yeah I got a video on uh, track color coding and labeling uh just look under my channel I, I think it's called exactly that like color coding and labeling you understand why my brain works that way uh okay cool so I recently got some wonder girl stuff off splice and uh, I like the hats in here. I'm not mad at that at all. Let's see what this does. Yeah. 
yes, yes, yes. What more could we ask for? And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw in an 808 here. So I'm like starting to hear, okay, it's coming together, starting to feel like a song. I haven't really done any arrangement stuff yet, but um, I'm hearing like some melody stuff. And sometimes, you know, when I go to produce something, like the melody's already written and I'm kind of writing to that. Sometimes the, the track inspires, which is like the case in this case. Um, I'm using the Slate VMS. So I'm actually going to just go uh, to one of my settings, which is the C800 for tracking. And now it's going to make me sound like this. <laughs> it's, it's my favorite. One of my favorites. I like the 251 as well. So I'm hearing something like... Try to call this the verse. <laughs> I don't know. I could be off. But does that go straight to a chorus or does it go into a pre? Let's see. Yeah, so I think that's where the chorus is going to hit for me. And I'm not even going to do a chord change because I can actually hear where it's going to go. So, okay, I'm going to pause for the cause and I will be right back. I'm going to just like bust out a quick lyric, tighten up this arrangement, and I'll see you in a few. Hey guys, what's up? We are back. I have written some lyrics. Um, not my most profound, but I think it'll get the job done. Just trying to kind of get like a quick idea out, you know. Um, and this is this is exactly what I would do before I take it into a full production is I would get just about this much track done and then I would lay down like a scratch vocal top line. So that's pretty much what I'm going to show you right now. Right now. Here we go. <clears throat> Call me crazy, but I know you feel it. And I know that everybody sings the way you look, way you look, way you look when you're looking at me. And I ain't trying to call you on your shit. But I think it's time to come to grips Cause what you want's what I want And I'm trying just to get in Stop giving me the run around love Cause I know what's been on your mind And I see what's behind those eyes Stop giving me the run around love Cause I've been waiting on you all night And you know that that just ain't right Stop giving me the run around love like that oh, I'm gonna go for stuff underneath let's see call me crazy but I know you feel it and I know that everybody sings the way you look way you look way you look when you're looking at me and I ain't trying to call you <clears throat> and I ain't trying to call you on your shh but I think it's time to come to grips cause what you want's what I want and I'm trying just to get in But I think it's time to come to grips Cause what you want's what I want And I'm trying just to get in Stop giving me the run around love Yeah, yeah Cause I know what's been on your mind To get in Stop giving me the run around love Yeah, yeah Cause I know what's been on your mind And I see what's behind those eyes Stop giving me the run around love I've been waiting on you all night And you know that the just ain't right Stop giving me the run around love Double. Run around love Yeah, yeah And then what else do I want to do? Yeah, 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 yeah Love Lots of coffee, not enough water. Yeah. Cause I know what's been on your mind. Yeah. Cause I know what's been on your mind. And I see what's behind those eyes. 
up giving me the good enough to go to my work. All right. Hey guys, how's it going? I am back. Um, I've just done a little bit of vocal processing and a real basic rough mix and some arrangement tweaks just to get the idea um, solidified. I'm just going to kind of put a pin in this right now. I think I've gone about as far as I want to go for this video. Um, let's have a listen. <laughs> Call me crazy, but I know you feel it. And I know that everybody sings the way you look, way you look, way you look when you're looking at me. And I ain't trying to call you on your but I think it's time to come to grips. Cause what you want's what I want, and I'm trying just to get in. Stop giving me the run around the love. That's it. That's how I get a song idea out when I'm first getting started um, in a case like this where I'm just kind of building and writing as I go. Um, and uh, yeah, I would obviously do a lot more with this moving forward with the full production, um, including finishing writing the song and then doing some more uh, some more steps to the track. But I think this is a good start, you know, so I hope this was helpful, especially for any of you guys just getting started. Um, my goal through these videos is to help demystify the process a little bit and simplify it for you. Um, it really is a lot of fun, and I know it's really overwhelming when you're first getting started, but that's why I thought I'd do something really simple like this, just to show you like how how much fun it can be and how we can simplify it. So anyways, I'm Chris Bradley. This is Boombox Beats. Make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you like the content, and uh, please leave me a comment. You know, uh, any kind of feedback is welcome, and uh, I really do appreciate it. And if there's anything that you want to learn in an upcoming video, just let me know in the comments. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.